here inside of Photoshop, I'd like to show you how you can not only make text transparent, but also have it punch a hole in elements below it. So I have a simple example just here, and then a more complex real world design example just here. So let's start out with our simple example just here. I've got my layers panel just here. The background is this photo just here, a white rectangle on top of that, and some text on top of that. So we're going to target this text layer just here. So what I'm going to do is double click on an area that's not the layer name, which will bring up the layer style dialog box just here. We have our blending options just here, and knockout is what we're going after. Now we can set it to either shallow or deep. In this simple example, it doesn't matter. I'll just set it to shallow and then bring the fill opacity down to 0%, choose OK, and check it out. This has worked fantastically. Our text is transparent. It's actually punched a hole all the way through this rectangle just here, and we can actually see this background layer through this now invisible text. Fantastic. So again, I just want to reiterate, with the text layer just here, it's the fill opacity that we brought down to 0% not the opacity, which is what you normally play with when making designs. Let's jump over into our more complicated example just here. So you might notice there um, isn't a background layer in this case, and we've got an extra layer going on just in here. So our layers panel, I have this photo as the bottom most layer. And on top of this is this gradient layer, which has a blend mode of overlay. So combined, these two layers produce this result just here. On top of that, we have our good old white rectangle and some text on top of that. So let's do like we did before. So the text layer just here, let's double click on that layer, come down to the knockout options, change it to shallow, bring the fill opacity down to 0%, choose OK, and let's review what we've got going on just here. Now this is great, but it is kind of not what we were expecting. In this case, the text has actually punched a hole through absolutely everything all the way through to transparency. Now, because there's no background layer, we can have transparency just here, and that's what this checkerboard pattern is just here. So if we jump back into those options for the text, and if we change knockout from shallow to deep and choose OK, it's still not going to help us out in this instance just here. So how can we actually fix this? Well, we're going to have to group a few elements, and the elements we need to group are the text and also any elements that we want that text to punch a hole through. So I'm going to select the text layer just here, hold down my shift key and click on the rectangle layer just here, and then I'll press command or control G, which is the keyboard shortcut for group. Now I'll twirl that group open so you can see the street and rectangle are indeed inside of this group. And all we need to do now is double click to get back inside of the layer style options for that text layer. And we need to change the knockout from deep to shallow, choose OK, and there we go. So that's it there guys. I hope that gives you some cool ideas on how you can use text to punch holes in shapes and create some cool looks like this. I hope that helps. Catch you later.